welcome to a bus named Sue. done a lot of uh, updates, changes throughout the, uh, the life of the bus since we've had it. One of our newer ones is the front door. We switched it from your standard bus door into a functioning house style door. To do that, all we did was uh, bolt it together pretty much on the inside and the outside and then added this screen door latch. Right, as we come into the bus, we have this little dresser here we found on the side of the road as we started the build. Um, it's got a nice big drawer here. It's kind of a catch-all junk drawer. And then in here is where we would normally have our shoe storage, backpacks, gym gear, stuff we can easily grab, and of course, the sticker collection. Up front here in the cockpit area, we kind of left that all the same as we got the bus. Didn't want to mess with anything in there too much. We did rip out half the dashboard and make this other little shelf for plants, cat to sit on, another little catch-all, just more usable space we didn't have before. Uh, underneath here we have where the kitty litter box is. And we just have a door here on the side, makes that easy to change. One feature we like is this is where we stored the cat food while the bus was in motion. This would be our uh, living area for the bus. We went with the Cubic Mini Cub and did our own little tile thing. We actually did that mostly on the road when we had the time. We left kind of half done and then finished it as we were on our maiden voyage. Uh, but this thing, when it's ripping, it puts out plenty of heat, heats up the whole bus, no problem. Underneath there, we've got all our firewood supplies, axes, hatchets, and then we keep a box of uh, scrap wood around, to keep the fire going, keep that full. That'll usually last three, four days. And this little extra space here was perfect to hide our table away. And that just kind of retrofitted it so we can slide it on and off and we can have it as a multi-directional table. If we want to have people over, set up more chairs, use it as a desk, whichever way we want. So that slides off, stores away. And then, this is our couch here. We've got a lot of storage underneath. You can access it that way. Or it flips up this way as well. We can stand that up if we want to slide this out and have a little bigger of a couch. It's a little short for an extra bed, but it works. And then over here as well. Extra storage, covered up the wheel well there. And then this also pops up, stores away under the bed. Moving around this way, we got our curtains I'll touch on. These Lindsay made out of drop cloths. They're just on some copper piping there. And these roll down, tuck in nice, and there's actually reflectic sewed in to the curtains, so it gives us little more insulation. Right here is kind of our electronic station. Um, we got two 12 volt outlets on top, one of our light switches on a dimmer, the bedroom, and then below we have our solar charge controller. And we also got the WeBoost while we we're on the road. And uh, that was definitely a huge help when we get into some low cell signal areas and working remotely that was a necessity 
We got some extra storage over here. A lot of electronics store in here, as well as down in here. That's all electronic storage. And we got a fold out cup holder. Uh, my entire electrical system is in a box underneath here. We have 200 watts of solar and 300 amp hours of AGM batteries. And for our needs, we figured out that was the bare minimum. So if we were to update anything with that, we would uh, definitely add some more solar so we don't run into low battery issues. So this is our bedroom. We have a full XL bed. And for Leo's clothes, we have these two upper cabinets here that we actually installed while we were on the road uh, out in Lake Havasu. We also have some storage underneath the bed where my clothes would go. As well as our slide out fridge. And then we have baskets up here just for extra storage. Both of our stuff was really up here. Um, and we would really just shove our coats into every crevice that we could find too. <laughs> and we have some uh, shoe holders on the side that also holds our laundry bags when we're not using them. Uh, this is our kitchen. This is our accent wall. We did a peel and stick wallpaper for this. We made a spice rack uh, to hold all of our spices, and we also have this magnetic knife holder. We actually don't need to take the knives down while we're driving. That's a commonly asked question. They stay up there perfectly. So underneath the sink, we have our storage. We have some cleaning supplies under here, our trash, and then our gray water tank for the water. For our sink, uh, we usually use this for everything. Also for showers, you can uh, pull this out, open the window, and actually can use this as an outdoor shower. We technically could use this as an indoor shower too, we haven't yet, but if you just get a water basin inside, it's definitely usable indoors too. We have storage for our silverware, we just use this industrial old desk drawer for that. And then also a bunch of storage underneath for food, and pots, pans, and uh, plastic bags and, and all of that. <laughs> so for our stove, we have a three burner stove top and oven for a Magic Chef. We got this off Craigslist. I don't think that they, may, they sell these anymore. And then up top here, we have our glasses, our bowls, plates, coffee, and, and all of that. Um, everything stays really sturdy as we're driving too, so don't have to take any of that down either. And then on the side here, we have more storage, which usually holds my makeup and hair products and, and all of that glam kind of stuff. Countertop here, I actually made this out of an old bed frame and sandwiched a two by four in between it and then just epoxied over it sealed that up, just happened to fit just right. Under the bed we have our 12 volt pump and a 35 gallon water storage, which is accessed by lifting up the bed and we just fill it with a hose through a window. We don't have any outdoor city inlet and we found that that works just as fine. And here we have our bathroom. We put this little sliding accordion door. Uh, we usually keep it shut while we're driving and it stays no problem, never, never come undone. Um, inside here we went with the nature's head composting toilet uh, and then we have some more storage on the wall, mirror, all our toiletries kind of stay tucked away in here. So we bought our bus off an auction website, um, got a really good deal. It was the motor I was looking for, it was the right size. Um, we weren't exactly planning on buying one right at that moment, but the right bus came around and uh, we just went for it, got it, we got it super cheap. Yep, so we picked it up in upstate New York and started the actual build in October. 
finished in January and all in, including the bus, it was about 10 grand total. Yeah, so when we initially left, we did not have everything we do now. We had a different water system. We just had a foot pump with seven gallon tanks that we would rotate. Um, since then, like I said, we've added the 35 gallon tank. We've switched some stuff around where things go, added more storage, and it's uh, you don't know exactly what you need all the time until you're really living in it. So right now the bus isn't our full-time home. We ended up buying a just above tiny sized house, 800 square feet. But um, now we're just using it as a weekend getaway rig. And when people come to visit us, we uh, let them stay in the bus in the yard. Yeah, little guest house. If you want, you can follow us on Instagram uh, at a bus named Sue for uh, a lot of bus content. And we also have a small business on the side called Novo Designs Co. We uh, dry and press flowers and make handmade frames. Um, and uh, we pick the flowers across the country as well as in New England and sell them online and at uh, craft fairs. So definitely check us out on either account and uh, we'll look forward to meeting you guys.